We master are the master traders, traders. We are the master trading, traders. I just traded on you in the middle of that and just like completely oh, you, you, stabbed you in the you're back. I did. Straight I, up traitor. I blew. I blew it on purpose. Straight up uh, traitor. Yeah, I would be too. Um, hi, welcome back to the Master Traders podcast. Uh, last episode we talked about the cast of season two, and today we're really gonna get into it because they dropped three episodes all at once. But before we get into that, hi. I'm your snake daddy, your cheeseburger princess, your shit poster supreme Matt Keck, and alongside me is the light of my life, Paul Allen, Paul Cummings Shields. Paul Cummings <laughs> Shields. I love that. I I love that. I love that Shields actually is a part of the game. I love. Oh that, like, yeah. yeah. Your last oh, name yeah. is like yeah. Your name is part <laughs> of this game. Um, so yeah, this is the Master Traders. Uh, Traders US season two starts, um, and of course, Alan Cumming. He's our host, right? He's our lovely oh, host. Yeah. He's incredible, um, and he is always dressed in fantastical fashion. And I've decided for every episode, I'm going to rate his outfits. Um, now <laughs> okay. I want I want everyone to keep in mind that I am a straight white man, so my opinion means absolutely nothing. But let me tell you, Alan's outfit in the first episode, fierce AF. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, he was giving girl catching fire. Uh, he was sparkling. Yep. He was oh, red. Yeah. Uh, the tartan that could then convert into a sort of cape. Uh, the He's... large tool flower. I mean, he really set the season off right with this outfit. He's always he is always uh, wearing capes. Yeah, I mean, and this one, I mean, it was perfect, right? They're out in Scotland on the lock. Mm -hmm. He's got the, I mean, and he's got some kind of plaid in his outfits every time. Oh yeah, too. he's always got his tartans for sure. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna give the red outfit on this first episode. A 4.5 out of 5. I think he came out incredibly Ooh. strong. And um, after watching the next couple, which, by the way, if you're listening, we're going to go episode by episode. We won't spoil things so that if you're watching them one by one, so this will be you can our follow along. Only, yeah, so this will be the, the first episode. Is yes, what we're, this, doing we're just doing episode one of season two. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, having seen the next couple, I think this 4.5 is going to stand pretty strong. This is a fierce, sharp outfit. And, uh, I'm glad he came. Oh, yeah. I'm glad he came out the I, gate swinging. Yeah, it was gonna. Yeah, I did watch it because I've looked at these. I took my notes and rated each one of them after each one was over, mm -hmm. right? And wrote down mm -hmm. all my notes on things. Yeah, yeah. And one of the notes I did have is that episode three outfit he's wearing. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good one. That's a that's a doozy. We're gonna every when, time he comes on. Every time they show him, it just makes me laugh. So he's incredible. Much. Yeah, because, you know, they're just doing it up. Uh, and so he's up. He's at his castle. It's traitors, right? We know this part. They all show up. They don't know who's going to be there. And See, then they, they do a shot of him with, like, these opera glasses yeah, looking out the window. It's just him them, watching uh -huh. them come in. I, I mean, he literally, he <laughs> seems like a villain from an old mystery novel. It's hilarious. Uh and so, I mean, you know, you get the you get the dynamics pretty early on. You know, they they play up the relationship between Marcus and Larsa. You know, they uh, CT gets shocked when he sees Johnny Bananas when he first shows up. He's like, I can't go anywhere without freaking bananas. Are you freaking kidding? I mean, I guess he's uh, the guy from Aqua Teen right now. <laughs> <But> <laughs> he does kind of sound like that. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean. Coming out the gate early on, uh, not knowing a lot of these guys, let me tell you, I'm a fan of CT. Uh, he makes me laugh a lot almost every time he talks. Uh, and I'm a fan of Phaedra almost every time. She's got a lot of good lines. Uh, oh, yeah, she does. Yeah, I feel like even early on, she's just dropping lines. She's She was – she's – Makes I'm I'm a big fan. I wanted honestly wanted to draft her in our fantasy league that we decided to do, and disappointed I couldn't get her. But that's okay. Yeah, my I, I I'm not unhappy with my picks that I got. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. Well, I'm not happy with them. Um, my uh, I I wanted uh huh the Parliament guy. Yeah, you wanted Burkhead. And I I didn't get because I was I thought I didn't think he was gonna go to that second round. I thought he would go to that second round. Uh -huh. and, I, and I'd pick him up, 
but he didn't get to me, and that uh-huh. that deal got picked right before me. But I, man, he makes me laugh. Oh man, he's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I loved her, him early on too. Like he's standing around, and obviously, n- some some of these people don't totally know each other. Like some of them are obviously more famous than others. Some are world champion boxers, and some were on like one season of a reality show. But this guy, no one knew, and you could tell the producers fed one of them the line of. Oh, uh, you're a politician, right? <laughs> Just so he can explain <laughs> right. what, what in the world. Because they would have no clue. Yeah, why? They just see him. Who's this? White? Why is this hobbit in the middle of this competition? Uh, yeah. So he also, by the way, he, that dude loved peppermint immediately. That dude was just like, oh, look here. Oh, I yeah. have me some peppermint. <laughs> um, yeah. If, if Phaedra starts talking to him like he's like he's elderly. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, oh, honey. Honey, you okay? Are you okay, honey? <laughs> I loved how Phaedra said she glamps. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't do all this physical challenge stuff. She just glamps. Uh, that's what she's known for. <laughs> um, and I love how everyone from the challenge immediately walks into this castle and hits the bar. Of course, the people oh, from yeah. the challenge immediately uh-huh. are drunk. Uh, I'm <laughs> absolutely incredible. Uh, early on, I feel like. Bergy might be screwed. Uh, they keep showing Bergy early on, and every time he's so sweet and so innocent, and this is not the game for that. Ber- yeah, Bergy Berge- is Berge- uh, on my list is not. He, uh, I don't think he's strong. He's a, he's a weak link, but also that might keep him around. Like the traders uh, might not kill him. We did our picks in the beginning, yeah. and then the and we immediately got immediately got a re, a, a response by someone when they did the picks. He's like, well, we did that. We did the first podcast where we broke everybody down yeah we did get feedback and uh we shit on <laughs> bergy a little too much it seems but i don't know i think we were spot on on this first episode he's <laughs> looking weak he's looking on. weak uh i another thing that i caught early on uh your girl parvarty uh, parvity 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 uh, parvity she's mentioned that she's going through a divorce right now yeah um she's gonna be on the hunt again yeah like so i mean i'm not shocked based on the descriptions i got from you guys last uh-huh. time and honestly i mean she seems like she's She's a good player at this. Uh, she, yeah, I think she getting into this. She's one of my favorite characters for sure. The headbands are ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> uh, absolutely. Does she always do the headbands? Well, I mean, she was on a survivor island, so on an island, didn't so she couldn't really do that. Spruce thing. herself up much. Man, I'm. I'm. Let me just say. Parvity, please keep doing the headbands for the rest of your life. It's iconic. I love it so much. Uh, it even makes me forget about Sandra's adult braces uh, while <laughs> looking at it. But let me tell you, those adult braces haunt me. Uh, I'm sorry, Sandra. They do <laughs> look like James. You're trying to get James Bond. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, Maxim. The oh, dancer yeah. of the stars guy just walking around with a cane. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, does he have like? Does he have a problem? Like, I don't know. He's a dancer, right? So like, but you know, like Yoda in episode two, right? He maybe goes, he's just he trying to. Around, maybe he's trying to look like that. Cane. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe he's trying to make himself look weak so that they, so he's not a target. I don't know. Don't vote for this guy. He's got a lame. No, no, leg. yeah. You can't pick him off. He, yeah. The only way he could make money is on his feet dancing. Which, but now he's. By the way, Maxim, if you listen to our other podcast, Bottom Boys, you would. No, I have no hesitations of picking off the weak and the lame. <laughs> that is exactly how you win a game. So your cane does not throw me off. <laughs> oh yeah, we broke that down at our uh-huh. last podcast. Oh yeah, who would the, I, the fight? I could do. Mm-hmm, I'd take Maxim out. The cane means mm. nothing to me. Uh, Tamra gets on there early and lets you know she can spot BS a mile away. Oh yeah, a mile away. And She's then she BS immediately starts accusing a bunch of the wrong people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, just immediately starts accusing people for no good reason. Uh, so Tamra definitely overestimates her abilities, but she's my girl, so I hope she hangs in. <laughs> uh, I ended up getting Tamra and uh, Larsa on my fantasy team, which I'm not super pumped about. But, we'll, hey, you know what? We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I didn't get any of my faves, but also some of the people I wanted, you know, maybe they don't work out. You know, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I got poverty and Maxim. Yeah, so. he got poverty. Uh, <laughs> so they gather around, and Alan is picking the traitors, okay? And 
he, he doesn't tell you how many the traders are going to be. The faithful have no idea how many traders there will be, but he does give you, like, the new twist. Uh, I don't think he gives it immediately. Duck, I think they pick goose. the traders they duck, first, duck, goose right? The traders. Yeah, he does the duck, duck, goose, and he picks the traders. Now we get to see that he picked he picked two traders. Um, and how do you feel? How do you feel about the picks? The the two traders that the picks that for he the picks. traders. Yeah, that he picked. Um, I feel like they were uh, the Dan guy when I remember because I know the Dan guy that they picked the big as brother. A trader. The yeah, big they brother. picked Dan and they picked Phaedra. Right. Yes. Uh, and uh, Phaedra, I don't know. Right. I didn't. I didn't uh, know her before the show. Uh, uh, and the Dan guy, I knew, and I thought he would be a good trader, but I thought everyone would think he was a trader. Yeah. Uh, so it right. might not be a good pick because of that. Because people knew yeah. he was deceptive. And he was. He was in there uh, in uh, one of the seasons of Brick Brother with the yeah. Janelle. That's in there as well, right? So, so she, she could knows him. She spot knows him his... out a little bit or whatever. But I don't think it was. I, I thought it was a good option at that point. Entertaining, but, yeah. Because he's always going around during his episode of Big Brother and and getting all these secrets and yeah, things and starting yeah. things and doing a whole deal, he's getting in with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's friends with all the cliques. Yeah, but. Phaedra so far, too, uh, I mean, she says the funny lines, yeah. and I like that. Yeah. And so I feel like that's that's good for the traders. Well, and I figured they probably pick one of the housewives because they're not going to be expected. And they're probably the, I bet they have some of the best, well, I don't know, Survivor's got a huge following, too. But those housewives, they got some stands, I and swear. They're pretty backstabby, too, oh, I yeah, think. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, they know how to get ahead. I mean, I wish, I don't know more. About them, but I know. I wish I had a little more info on some of them too, because I feel like some of them are going to surprise me. After the pick, though, uh-huh. uh, before the pick, I, I didn't think it was a bad pick, but after the pick, uh huh, this Dan guy, yes, is n- is not playing like I thought he would play. I I believe that. And now I want to talk real quick about the circle and how people reacted in that moment. And you can tell these are people who have not played this game before. You can tell these are people who've never played a werewolf or a mafia because, let me tell you, listening in the room to try and get a clue is the worst strategy you can do. Almost 100% of the time, you're going to start right. accusing someone of something that didn't even happen because you thought you heard it. Oh, I thought I heard a guy breathing heavy, or I thought I heard the arm lift. Yeah, And then um, you're, Larsa immediately, Larsa immediately <laughs> accused... First of all, immediately accusing someone is immediately making an enemy that wants you to die. Right. You want to, at this point, yeah. not accuse anyone. And two, what you heard, you're being thrown off. Your ears are deceiving you. People will shuffle. She's like, I have super bionic hearing. Uh-huh, great. Guys, and she was like going around, everybody, I have super bionic hearing. And she was accusing... Uh, uh, John, I heard the the, G- the, li- the arm lift on the jacket, or I heard him breathing. Yeah. Oh, I might be asthmatic. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm. I don't know. I'm slightly asthmatic. I was, as, but I, maybe he's just a fucking old dude that's <laughs> like, like just breathing guy. a little fucking heavy. Like <laughs> God. So these people, it clearly early on don't. Uh, be- just terrible. Uh, Eck and Sue, by the way, I didn't know much about her. Uh, and let me tell you, sh- the first thing she does, she comes out the gate. She's like, of course I'm a target. I'm so pretty and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I don't really think I like her very much, actually. <laughs> yeah. She kind of sucks. I don't think she's going to have much oh, strategy. Phaedra had a line about her that made me laugh a lot, where she said her brain was on vibrate. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that's that is an incredible line. Yep. Uh and so we find out from our man uh Alan Cummings, our traders are gonna get to choose a third trader. Uh and a lot of people who didn't get to be traders, they they want they want that. They're keeping their eye out to like try and see if they can get a vibe or you know. I think uh Parvati is the one who she she's like, if they pick me, I know who it is. Uh, that was what she kept saying. If I get picked, I know who it is. It's Sandra because we've worked together and uh, <laughs> yeah. all these people. Um what was the, so we go to the challenge. Uh the challenge here was the water puzzle. They had to build they had to swim out. They were tied to these poles on on the coastline. They had to swim out, get these barges, find a puzzle that like 
was in a bottle on the coast and then used that to put the barges together. I'm going to say up front, these challenges are confusing. <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't sure they, what was going on, but they, I guess they do what I think I they explained it. it to them probably because they yeah, knew what they were they doing when it. they got out yeah. there. I was like, I get it, kind of, but like also, geez, uh, and man, let me tell you, uh, that one girl, uh, she just gets out almost immediately, uh, Janelle. Janelle. Yeah, she gets yeah. out almost immediately and just sprints for the shield. Yeah, I think it's her her boob she like undid her boob somehow and oh yeah got herself out i She's, thought that was interesting she yeah. was just like harry houdini the fuck out yeah. of that thing and she didn't think for a second she went straight for the shield straight for the going shield. for the shield i'm um, not untying anyone now i don't know if that's a good play or a bad play because i guess if you're the traitor mm -hmm. uh you're not gonna go for the shield yeah usually you would not but you do still want your team to like I, you i also. think <laughs> to throw people off of you being the traitor you could go you could for the do, shield. yeah totally but you yeah. wouldn't go for the shield with such vigor yeah i, I feel like think. she was so intense that i mean people should probably i mean i would assume she's not a traitor if she did that and I'm on that. Team. Yeah. But at the, also at this point, she could still become one. We don't know. She could still become the third traitor. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. For sure. I guess. Oh, yeah. I guess nobody knows if they're going to be the traitor. So it does. You can't really tell at this point. Right. Yeah. Because there's, gonna be there's still going to be someone else. Mm -hmm. Right. Good call. Right, Good so call. play. So the the challenge gets really interesting. We know she's about, not a traitor yet. I right. Think. So far, we know she's not. Mm -hmm. But, man, she went straight for that thing. She was. Um, uh so they start swimming out there. You got the you got the alpha boat, Deontay and all those guys, yep. ben, bananas and CT and uh, Deontay and CT. Was on there. Uh, was he yeah, on there? yeah, yeah, Marcus, uh, CT and Deontay got the other shields, so they were protected. Um, yeah, they were just out there. Some people were complaining a lot. Uh, Bergy was stuck to the pole. He was the entire time. He was for the whole competition. He was strapped to the. He, he couldn't get out of his. Never knot. gets and off. Four the people pole. trying to help him out. I mean, <laughs> yeah, half the team is trying to untie Bergy. Uh, so they finish in the last minute. I wonder probably if because of that. I wonder if they didn't get him untied. If they would have, if they would have won or not the challenge. Like, if they would have just left him, if it would have been yeah. fine. If I mean, just tied up, and they're like, we're just, we can I, get, I think about that a little bit. Like, some of these challenges, I feel like there's ways you could just be like, eh, we could just figure, fuck you, get out of here. We don't need you. <laughs> we could just keep going. Bergy, if you can't untie a knot, we don't need you to do anything else. I mean, and what could he have possibly done? They were already all out in the boats. Like, yeah, they were in the boat. Johnny Bananas goes, uh, he's like, uh, I'm going to jump in there and into the water swim to do this because these guys are not moving this they've got the freaking parliament guy trying to paddle he's uh -huh. like, he's like no nope, not i've been deal paddled with and i've yep. <laughs> seen paddling i have never paddled yes he, <laughs> so he's like oh this isn't working so he just jumps in the freaking uh into the water to oh, man, swim yeah. over there yeah i could tell he's a bananas is good yeah he was a, he's a good player uh-huh yeah, he's these challenges. I mean, those those challenge people are are good mm -hmm. at them for sure. Uh, they finished in the last minute. They set the they set the thing on fire. It's a puzzle piece of a shield that they, mm -hmm. they yeah have to get it's all like the docks a, pieces like together. A to Scottish floating. Gaelic symbol in it, and it lights yeah. on fire. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so they 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 did it. They finished it. Uh, Phaedra was smart going into this game. She said uh, she said she doesn't want to be someone out front commanding she doesn't want to draw a lot of attention but she yeah. also doesn't want to be in the back doing nothing she wants to make sure people yeah. notice her but they only notice her just enough and when she started talking about that i was like i think she's got a shot yeah that's smart i think because dan got a sh did shot. nothing yeah no dan yes dan play did too much nothing and i yes. think that starts to become a theme the more you watch dan yeah like throughout this whole episode i'm like okay yeah. i get it you're you're laying quiet but maybe you're being too quiet man i don't know yeah um We'll see if it pays off. I will say I wrote a little note here. Uh, Michael did not give Marcus any of his charisma whatsoever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Marcus. Uh, <laughs> your your daddy took all the riz. Jordan um, Chris. I he swear. has to mention it though. He does mention it oh, a lot. Yeah. He makes sure you know that, that he, Jordan that he's is a that, Jordan. That it's that I'm a Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, yeah. We us Jordans. Mm-hmm. Jordan, you know. Us Jordans. Uh, we say it. Like, he says it a lot. Like, yeah. 
I know? get it. I mean, you know, I, I guess. Yeah, sure, right. Well, but uh, even if you've got it, don't you? You don't have to say it. That's true. That's true. You know? Yeah. If, if that's you don't a good have point. To, if you're that, that's a good if, point. If you got, if you inherited it, you wouldn't have to mention it. That's true. It's not his thing yeah. that he's bragging we'll about. Get it? He's bragging, go you're cool, the Nepa baby or whatever. But great. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Sorry, Marcus. So and then two people uh-huh. jumped out of the boat. A CT. CT. And uh, somebody else jumped out of the boat to get the shields. Deontay. Deontay. Because yeah. the shields will save you. Yeah. So, so. The shield things are little Janelle, pendants. Deontay, and CT all safe. They yeah. Can't so, get the. So you can't be voted out, or you can't be killed by the where uh, the uh, traitors. The traitors, which that that really did pay off for Janelle, because when the traitors go back, uh, we know the two that we have do you, are. Do you are think Dan during that when they did the whole during the boat thing, uh huh, anything somebody should have done something different besides hmm. Dan, obviously. But well, right, I think Dan should have done a little more. Uh, obviously, Bergy shouldn't have stayed on the thing. Um, you know. I don't think Bergy could have helped it. He could, wasn't yeah, getting out. I mean, yeah, he just sucked. <laughs> uh, you know, I think some people probably made themselves more of targets than they realized they were because they're coming from different competitions. I think we right. talk about how the challenge people came out and did really strong and did really well. Right. But in this competition, if you're the best, you're a target for the traders. And so I think your CTs, your Johnny Bananas and stuff – if they make it past the first rounds, right. are going to have to adjust how they play but, and not always be the standout person. And the way this thing works, though, is the money. Oh yeah, you, you don't get the money. Do money. You don't get the money unless you complete Win. the challenges. Right. So you've got to make sure you get the challenges. So getting rid of those people also yeah. is not a great idea right. either. Exactly. So, so showing you're good at the challenges, it is, could be good. Yeah. Right. Right, and so it's, yeah, it's kind of like one of those coin toss things. Without knowing who the traders are, it's hard to know yeah. how to play that first round because, yeah, you just don't know what their mm -hmm. targets are going to look like yet. Um, which, of course, having finished, we do know what their targets ended up uh, looking like. Uh, yeah. When they, they went back to the deal, they started talking, and here's when Dan really, I thought, shot him, yeah. is shooting himself in the foot. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm... Like, don't, why are you doing this? Because he's like targeting individuals and not bringing them out to talk to each one of them right. about stuff. Like, how do you feel about stuff? I'm like, and he, one of the people he he pulls out is yeah. like Sandra, right? Uh, who is very strategic and right. she knows when people are doing stuff. And she's because I've seen her on Survivor, and I feel like she already has him sniffed out. Yeah, I, I think she does, too. I mean, if you don't, you, I mean, if you didn't before, you're kind of like, why are you pulling me out to talk right. to me yeah. specifically about these she, things instead she, of doing it in a group or or whatever? Yeah, you got to know who to who to talk to and who not to in this group. And I think maybe he didn't know everybody that he was targeting because Sandra might look a little more unassuming than she really is. Too. Right. So and him, she, he might not have known I guess. how strategic she really is. Because I guess Survivor's pretty that, popular. I I agree. I agree. But that's a whew, that's a, that would have been a bad move on his part. Yeah. Don't go after the sharks. Don't try to trick the sharks. Yep. Trick everybody don't else. Trick those sharks. Mm -mm. No, there's certain people you just you don't you don't mess with. She's too smart. She's a shark. You don't. can't fool mm -mm. a shark into thinking you're a shark. No. Mm mm. They're gonna eat you either way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, they get to the uh, what's the place called? Where do they? Where, what's that thing? The turret. That's what they call it. They go to the turret. The turret. Uh, and so. Oh, where they vote? Because they got. Uh, so Dan and Phaedra actually don't even okay. know each other are the traitors yet. Right. So uh, they so this first uh, episode. There's no deal where people uh, can. There's no round table for people to vote. Pe yeah, they don't people vote out. out uh, uh, banish people. You can't vote banish people at this point. No, you don't yeah. vote any. They don't vote anyone out and banish in this first episode. And you actually don't get the reveal of the first kill in this first right. episode, which ends up being a little disappointing. But that's okay because they did drop three, so you mm -hmm. get you get at least you can click over. But yeah, the biggest thing you get here is you get led up to two cliffhangers on this first episode. Mm -hmm. So Dan and Phaedra, 
lift their hoods, and they're both surprised to see each other. I don't think either of them really had any idea who the other was before right. this. Uh, she knows Dan's from Big Brother, so she seems to kind of like, she seems like she's a team player. She's willing to let Dan mm-hmm. do what Dan wants to do, and I'm going to say that's smart strategy on her part. I think she actually said that whenever she's, yeah. So I'm just going to let Dan do what he because if Dan targets the people Dan wants and Phaedra has mm-hmm. no input, no one's going to think that those targets came from her because they didn't. Right. So it's super smart. Mm-hmm. There's n- She didn't, doesn't influence the choice really much at all, I feel like, in this first one. She really does let Dan talk him through. I mean, he talks about how he'd love to get rid of Janelle because she knows him and she'll, he'll have to get rid of her eventually, but... She's got a shield. He can't get rid of her Mm -hmm. this time. They talk about breaking up Larsa and Marcus and how having a couple there could be a strange power dynamic. Uh, And then they also have to discuss... Because they're killing someone this first night, right? Yes, they're killing someone and they're choosing their third traitor. Right. So they also have to discuss who do they want to keep around. Uh, Who do they think will play well? And also they don't want this choice to be someone that gives them away. Uh, like they don't want it to be someone that, you know, one that plays poorly and, you know, ends up talking to them or something. Right. Like they need to pick the right person. They talk a few, about a few people. Uh, Parvati gets thrown around. Uh, they talked about maybe uh, Sheree, I believe, is someone they talked about. Uh, I think they mentioned CT, and I think that's because Phaedra mentioned she has a crush on CT in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> she right. Says, she says, I'm crushing on him a little bit. So who, af- after this, after they were talking, oh, after this, who do you think, um, who uh, were your choices that you, who did you think they were going to choose? Who did I think they would choose? Yeah. Uh, you know, at this point, I actually kind of thought they were going to kill Marcus early on because I thought they were going to split Larsa and Marcus. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, that was my thought was a good at move. the end of this episode. Is that what you would have done? Yeah, I would have. I would have offed Marcus immediately because he's not directly connected to either of them. They're right about the power dynamic. No matter what, if you have someone you're that close to, you're gonna play together at least part of the game. Sure, you might turn on each other eventually, but that's still two votes. But do you um, think that uh, by doing that, you split? Because once you split them up, yes, I think it automatically you get the. Reaction of the other person True. that you came came about that you split it from, uh-huh. and how they handle it to figure out if, if they did it. That's themselves. true. It does. It can reveal another traitor. You it know, might, it might be a bad choice. You're right. Uh, That's a good point. But I didn't, I didn't consider that. But that. But who would you pick? Um, I think. Uh, well, they weren't. They weren't arguing. Uh-huh. Around. Who, did, was anybody? Uh, uh, pointed out. Well, you had the one girl, uh, the blonde girl, uh, that pointed out Peppermint early on and thought she was a traitor. Um, I th- or does that happen later on? Yeah, that happened at uh, this. Uh, that happened that night before, right? Yeah. Where she was like, if I end up dead tonight, Peppermint's the traitor. Yeah, they had a deal. A Trichelle, where Trichelle, that's who she is. Uh, which made a big thing about seeing if I was a deal, and she was obviously making a joke. Right, and it didn't seem like that big of a deal, but Trishel really seems to yeah. like latch on to that. Yeah. Um, she's someone I wouldn't kill, because she's very clearly right. not very smart about when to accuse. Uh, she's willing to let the bullets fly willy-nilly over small facial reactions, so that's someone who's going to throw themselves under the bus eventually. Right. Um, if I'm in the If I'm in the beginning... I probably don't necessarily, I'm not wanting to get anybody out, really, who's a good at competitions. Yeah. You want to win so some money leave early. the competition people. Uh-huh. I would have left them. I would leave the physical people. Definitely. In case you have Deontay physical stays. challenges. Yeah. Um, we want to eliminate anyone, or you want to leave in somebody who's... You kind of, I guess, because if they have puzzles and things, you want to puzzle people. You need a few like smart that. people. So the people who've yeah. been through the challenges, don't kick any of those people. Yeah, out. some of your survivors, your challenge yeah. people, right. like those are the ones. So you which stick leaves around. me with, I, I probably would have kicked out a housewife or yeah. one of those Love Island people. Yeah, definitely Bergie. Yeah. I yeah. who I actually probably who I would have tossed is Bergie because it would have been so unassuming and no one would have any idea. But also he was stuck to the fucking pole. Yeah, I say that, but yeah. Knowing that, 
uh, when you do a pick, okay, so they have to pick someone, right? They do. He's unassuming. He is. And so I think I would have used Bergy as to use for the next traitor. Okay. Pulled him as a traitor because he's unassuming, uh-huh. because he doesn't. He hasn't played the games. He doesn't know where that's going. Nobody's on. I mean, Bergy's. You don't, you don't think he would. He be... got no camera time at all except being tied up. You don't think really. he would crack? You think he's I, that would enough? be the only thing he'd be cracked? But that's okay. True. That's why. See, let's. So if I'm talking about someone who I want to pick, bring in to be a trader with you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. From watching it last season. Yeah. You can turn on each other. Oh yeah, for sure. I would so think you would want to. I definitely to at some do point. not want to bring somebody who's who I can't who's trust. Who's stronger than you. Yeah. Trust who's going to you want to bring good in somebody point. that you can control. That's a that good you point. you can make, decide go where you want them mm. to go. And so if they have a decision, I would have took Bergie cuz he very easily can sway him. He seems like the person you could sway to move to do whatever you wanted to. That's smart. And not going to be someone who's going to, even if he does turn yeah. and cracks, he's not going to crack on you probably. He'll yeah. just crack on himself. And then you just vote him out at that time, mm. acting like. That's a good That's a good point. Bergie might be the, yeah, the best Yeah, that's the choice. one that I would have brought in mm. Um, if I was him to bring it in. Uh, maybe yeah. that irks and lady at the same time she's another good trader to bring in. so i guess yeah, i would have picked yeah. one of those two yeah 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 the because she, she's not smart no she she's, wasn't smart she pretty, like you said the vibrator on the her brain's on vibrate for sure her brain's on vibrate so i think maybe one of those two those, uh, i mean I whichever that, one i didn't i like that i would have picked the the other one to be the trader i think i like that play put she was like the leader of the supervillain group i don't i don't i don't hate that yeah yeah because if you're magneto you don't want apocalypse joining the group and taking mm-mm. you out you want no toad. you want toad mm-mm. and fucking pyro mm-mm. you don't want somebody geppettoing you yeah no well mm-mm. you don't want to put the you won't want to if you're a puppet you don't mm-hmm. bring in Geppetto. No. Mm-mm. Because that's how you get strings. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You're king of the puppets. <laughs> and you're killing other puppets. Um, don't bring in Geppetto. Another line I noticed here in the turret, uh, they bring up Max, and Phaedra just straight up calls him irrelevant. I was going to mention that. Straight up calls him irrelevant. Yes. Uh, He's brutal. irrelevant. Brutal. Uh, she doesn't even consider him in this game. Right. Absolutely wild. So they don't tell you who they pick and who the who and no. or who or who the next traitor will be. The traitor is. So, so it's double cliffhang. And when I reason I say this is because and you brought that up is uh who are your who at this point who are your top three to win this? My top three to win this game right now, I'm gonna say Number three. Sandra is my number three. Sandra. Sandra is my number three. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually uh, here think right now Max seems to have a good head on his shoulders. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the Trishel stuff comes up, number he two. seems pretty cold, uh, collected. She calls him irrelevant, but I don't know. He seems like he's paying attention. Sandra called him irrelevant. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he comes in and Sandra's. This That's when, who it was. That's right. It yeah. was Sandra from Survivor. Yeah. yeah she called she goes, him he's irrelevant. A, she goes, he's irrelevant. But I think yeah. both those two right now seem calm and cool. Uh, and and number then number one pick? Phaedra. Phaedra. Right now, Phaedra. I think she's playing Dan like crazy. And I think, you know. I got a thing for for the bad guys. I I, my, I got a thing for the traders. Yeah, hey, my number my number three pick pick yeah. is actually is Maxim yeah. at this point. Yeah, he seems to be doing pretty good. Because they well they don't show him at all. He right. gets no screen time. He and usually anything. those people last a while. Well, the reason I think he's gonna be gonna go is because when like you said he came in uh-huh. and the only screen time he goes gets is the one person. Who knows what she's doing? Right, and is sneaky. Calls him irrelevant. Right, that makes yeah, me. Think that makes you think it's editing, a red herring. That's that has nothing to do with how they're playing or anything like that. Yeah, only the editing that you they would want edit you that to see there, that. That yeah. Oh, he's so, irrelevant, so, so that he can be a big twist her in the end. Mm, that's you know smart. What I'm yeah, that's a good setup. So you get him Ooh. versus her in the end. That's a good call. And uh, that's so that's why I think. At this point, uh, Maxim mm-hmm. and Sandra is my number two. Yeah, so we got some pretty similar picks. She's, yeah, I her mean, as a as as a I pick her because she's going to 
she she's going to suss out Dan. I didn't pick Dan. Right. You know, because of, and my number one is Phaedra. Yeah. I picked Phaedra, did pick Phaedra's number one. Yeah. Because the the traders have the advantage. They do. They know where they know going. the information. They pull the strings. They know the stuff is going out. But the reason I pick didn't pick Dan because he's not saying anything. Yep. He went straight to the people he shouldn't go to. Yep. Sandra or Sandra. I can't mm-hmm. remember. Yeah, either and, way. And and was trying to get I was like, she's gonna suss him out like immediately is yeah. what I was thinking. I was like, he's gonna she's gonna suss you out. She's gonna know what you're doing, and then this is gonna be her pull to move up. Yep. That's why I put her in number two. Mm-hmm. That's why I put her in number two. Mm-hmm. I think I mean I, I think we're in pretty pretty close agreement here. Yeah. Um as far as people who are gonna get kicked out at this point, uh huh. Uh Laura because she, in her pick, she picked. She got the number one pick on a yeah. survivor pool thing, yes. and she picked uh, uh, peppermint. Yes, and she was scared. And I told her, I was like, "Hey, no, I, I, I don't think you have to worry about peppermint, even though her name's been thrown around." Yeah, because y- of usually the, uh, sometimes that's the, just like Jan- Janelle said because talk. she didn't get enough screen time. Yeah, you got to get screen, and I, this is the editing part of it. They don't, but she didn't get hardly any screen. T- if you don't get screen time at all, you these are celebrity murdered. guys. Yeah, these are celebrity people. You come to this You're to go- get some going- promotion. Yeah, so the people that came to see these people that are on here, you at least want to show them on the episode. They're, they're show on. them so they can see at least one point. So if they don't show them, mm-hmm. I think you're safe. Yeah, that's my thought. I'm with you. So I think she, he. I I, I I was like, I think Peppermint That makes safe. a lot of sense. Yeah, he didn't get a lot of, yeah. she didn't get a lot of screen yeah. time at all. She yeah. did not. Uh, I mean, yes, they could have took out that John Parliament guy because, I mean. Sure. He got yeah. a lot of screen time. So all he the did. Parliament people He did, came, and politicians all, all are the, tricky. All the people who came for Parliament, uh, you know, got uh-huh. their, That's got their true. John Burkow. They already got him picks, in. Uh-huh. So. You know the John Burkow stands. The uh, <laughs> the Mad Burkows. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll come up. Uh, okay. We'll we'll come up with a name for the Bur- Burkonians. The Burks. Uh, Burkow. Cows. Bur- yeah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> All we know is this man is beautiful. Uh, also, there was a little a little thing, a little tease for a oh, special yeah. twist that's going to happen this oh, season. We're yeah. going to get a secret player. <sighs> I'm excited to see mm-hmm. how that plays out, uh, when they come in, and what that means. Yeah, and our there were only 21 p- people. So yeah, I told Laura who got only one pick because she picked first. She'll get the secret player. She'll get the secret player. Yeah, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm I'm excited to see what they do. So, uh, we end episode one with a couple cliffhangers, but dun dun dun. But dun. Who? Click on over Today to murder. Yeah, click on over because we're gonna go ahead and drop them all. Episode two. Once you watch it, uh, let's let's see who they murdered. Let's see who the new traitor is. Oh, yeah. Mm, let's see if uh, mm. let's see if we're on the right trails of who's gonna make it to the end of this. Let's thing. see what uh, Alan Cummings. Uh, let's see what his outfit uh, looks like. Rates next <laughs> deal. Every one of them seemed to be just a. A kilt just for entire body kilt. Yeah, a kilt, but then like <laughs> with a dash of chaos thrown into it. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Uh, check out our other podcasts, The Bottom Boys Cast, uh, where we get the bottom of things. Uh, follow us on social at the Arson Club KC. We're on uh, TikTok, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on all that good stuff. Uh, I am Matt Keck, and alongside me is the light of my life, Paul Sally Forth Shields. <laughs> <laughs> and we are saying good night and good luck and see you on the next episode of Master Trader. <laughs> <laughs>